Um, all right. Bengals. Uh, Tom Brady did awful last week. Or is Tom Brady such a champion he's going to come back better than ever? Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to go Bengals. If I lose, then I have to stand out on the street corner with a sign that says, I love Hillary. Honk, you do too. I'm one for four on my football face. Hey, Cider Crusaders, my name is Mike Slater. This is the show where we talk about something important, something that's going to make you smart, and something that's going to make you feel good. We call it Here's What's Up. So the left is celebrating the unemployment rate dropping to 5.9%. It's the lowest it's been since this guy was in office. Oh yeah, I remember when that guy was president. But this is nothing to celebrate. We need to ask ourselves how they calculate the unemployment rate. So unemployment is the number of people over 16 who are unemployed, like this guy, divided by the number of people in the labor force. So what is the definition of an unemployed person? Someone over 16 without a job who has actively looked for work in the last four weeks. So looking for work can be anything from just a friend asking for a job. Hey man, can I start getting paid for this? That's Miles looking for a job. It can be filling out an application. It could be working on your resume anytime in the last four weeks. If you have not done any of those things in the last four weeks and you're still unemployed, you're not included in the calculations of the unemployment rate. So yeah, it's true that last month, 232,000 people found a job. That's wonderful. But the real number we got to focus on is that 315,000 people stopped looking for work or, or stopped looking more than four weeks ago. So they're not included in the unemployment calculation. That's why the unemployment rate dropped. The truth is there's a record 92.6 million people not in the labor force that could be. That's nothing to celebrate. Not to mention the record number of Americans on food stamps in 2008, it was 33 million. Today it's 47 million and a record number of Americans on disability, 11 million. These are not exactly signs of a thriving economy. All right, I'm sick and tired of getting lectured about this fetish that we have uh, called diversity. The left is obsessed with pointing out the lack of skin color diversity all over the country, but particularly in Silicon Valley. So the New York Times wrote an editorial criticizing Silicon Valley for not hiring more blacks and Hispanics, which is hilarious because the 19 person New York Times editorial board has one black person and one Hispanic person. Where's the diversity, New York Times? Don't fall for their games though. Diversity is more than skin color. But I believe uh, diversity is an old, old wooden ship that was used during the Civil War era. Right. Random Mike Slater show fact, I actually wrote my Yale College admission essay on this point right here, that diversity is not about skin color. It's, this is one aspect of diversity. But listen, you take a group of five black people, they have tons of diversity amongst those five people. They have diverse passions, diverse backgrounds, diverse families. Diversity is not solely about skin color. You take a white person who grew up in New York City and a white person who grew up on a farm in Nebraska, they're diverse, same skin color, but diverse. Let's just take two black people who grew up in LA. I mean, you got a black person who grew up in Santa Monica and a black person who grew up in Compton. Those are two very diverse experiences. So yes, diversity is important when it comes to diversity of thoughts, diversity of ideas, diversity of experiences, but diversity of skin color, Stop. Can we just all please take the Morgan Freeman approach to diversity of skin color? How are we going to get rid of racism? And stop still... talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace, you know me as Morgan Freeman. All right, feel good story of the day. Check out these guys, identical twins, both World War II veterans, and they both flew in the Army Air Corps. These guys are amazing. They flew for 60 years. They stopped 10 years ago. But what better way to celebrate their 92nd birthday than to get back in an airplane? Would you consider this your best birthday present today? Yes, yeah, that's the best one I've had, yeah. Thank you, Robertson family, for your service. And this is a reminder to everyone watching this right now. There are only about a million World War II veterans with us today. Think about that. Only a million. Please make sure your kids meet a World War II veteran before it's too late so that your kids, when they're older, can tell their kids, yeah, I met a World War II veteran before. And they can continue on the legacy and the tradition 
of our greatest generation. Please make sure your kids can do that before it's too late. Thank you, Cider Crusaders. Thank you for subscribing below. We really appreciate it. Um, last week's video, right here. Uh, you can download the Liberty Tree app right here. Please give that a quick download as well. It's absolutely free on your smartphone, and you can check out our radio show right there as well. PSA of the day. This is from a uh, 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 police department and fire department that are right next to each other, so pranks ensue.